I just wanted to share a tool that I found that will help everyone with sourcing and Boolean searching. Um, Boolean searching, as you understand, is and, or, if not. Uh, there's some modifiers in there as well, such as quotation marks, brackets. You have to understand how to use them, where to put them, what goes first, all that kind of information. So it can get a little bit more confusing for people that don't have the, the training in it or even an IT kind of background. So this tool will help you with uh, developing or, sorry, creating those strings from just basic keywords that you're using. So if you go to this website, source.socialtalent.co, really, really cool tool. Uh, it's a free tool. You just register on this page, source.socialtalent.co. Register, hit submit, and then once you're registered, you'll get a page like this. So let's start from the beginning. So let's say I wanted to find a welder. You'll see some recent activity here, but let's just start over. If I wanted to find a welder, someone that's got B pressure experience, I'm just going to put pressure for simplicity, and I'm going to say Alberta. Hit search. It'll pop up with some information down here with a number of different buttons that you can click on to open those websites to find if we have people like this. So LinkedIn, very, very familiar with obviously. This one has 888 people that have pressure Alberta and our welders or weld welding. Um, it also has machinists in here, um, but 888. Uh, there's also LinkedIn X-Ray, which is more of Google search and it shows all the people that you can reach from Google that have more of that kind of Google technique of searching rather than using LinkedIn searching tools, it uses Google searching tools. So also very, very powerful in terms of finding the right people from LinkedIn. Uh, you have Twitter, which is great because there are people that are using Twitter, uh, like these folks here, um, that are also pressure welding uh, that you may want to reach out to. You can tweet to them or if they have contact information, then you can get them that way. But typically you can, you can tweet to them. So if you don't have a Twitter account, uh, not a bad idea to, to get one set up. Next is Google. Google is interesting. It's not perfect, but it's another source. If you're running out of places to look, uh, it'll search for resumes in the title um, without jobs and then, and then find some people. So this person's talking about my husband's a bee pressure welder, um, these kind of things. So another, another good tool. I'm going to fly through this just because I don't want to take too much time. Um, you'll see here Indeed doesn't work though. Indeed's a very, very good tool for us to use. Um, Indeed doesn't work in Alberta. So how do we get around that? Let's load that last search which is the top one, and I just hit edit. Get rid of Alberta and put in a US um, city. So let's just go Houston, hit search again. And again, you see all the things here. So welder, weld, welding, MIG, TIG, machinist pressure, Houston. Um, I'll show you how to get rid of this kind of stuff in the, in later on. But Houston, all you do is now you click on open in Indeed, okay? And you have this here. And all you need to do now is go to the, the, the www.indeed.com slash resumes. Okay, once you're in the resumes, make sure you're in the Canada section, post it, change this to Alberta. And then now you see you have people in Alberta. So you got Okotoks, Sony Play, Edmonton, Calgary, all B pressure welders. Now you notice this is quotation B pressure, B pressure, um, pressure, B dash pressure. That's why I just left it to pressure because that's a very, very common base word there. So very cool tool, it's 1,484 people that you can look into. So if you want to now add more things, for example, let's go back to that welder in Alberta, and we wanna see rig welders, you just add that to that, hit search, and it updates this information. And if you checked LinkedIn, prior we had 888, we now have 229. So it's a good idea to search more broad and then as you get too many people or want to specify a little bit closer, then add more. Better to start wide and then start, you know, closing in your net. Uh, the last thing I want to show you before I close is just how to how to customize this a little more. So we had Alberta. Again, it has all these keywords here. If you hit advanced search, you can see all the ones that the system has determined what you want to search for. So if you don't want the machinist in there, right, or you don't want MIG or a TIG welder or something, then just get rid of the TIG in there. Um, it's going to do an OR search anyway. So if you get rid of TIG, now we have pressure, we have rig, Alberta, hit search. It'll recreate it, and now LinkedIn has 229. So it didn't change it much for that one, but it, you can see how it would change it for some other ones. So that's a tool, I highly recommend it, it's free. It'll really help you with your sourcing techniques um, and definitely recommend uh, checking it out. Thanks everyone.